hey, do we know that we generalize the sine of theta to be the opposite of the hypotenuse? And if we're thinking of looking at the terminal side of the angle, and we think of some point x, y, then the opposite side will be the y value, and the hypotenuse will be x squared plus y squared. If we restrict that even more and say, let's make sure that the point on the terminal side is on this unit circle, then x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to 1. So restricting ourselves to that unit circle, the sine of theta simply becomes y. That gives us a chance to kind of look at the graph here. Look, suppose that this angle theta squeezes down and is down at 0, and this y value squeezes down to 0. The point is that when theta, let's in, in this coordinate system, let's say that this x axis be theta, and let this y axis be uh, the sine of theta. Then when, when theta is 0, that y value is going to be 0. As theta begins to increase, that y value grows until it finally gets up here to 1. And that occurs when theta is at 90 degrees, or if we're measuring in radians, that would be pi over 2. Now, as that theta gets over here in, in uh, the second quadrant, then it's looking something like this, the terminal side, and out here in, in that point, ending on the unit circle, so this is 1, that y value starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller, until finally we're out here at pi, or at 180 degrees. As we go, move down into the, to the third quadrant, then things are looking like this, and the y value is now negative. So from pi, it starts getting negative until it gets down to a negative 1, and that occurs when we're right here. And that value is at 3 pi over 2, and then finally it goes back until it's back to 0 again, and that is one cycle. This length right here is called the period. The period is the length that it takes to go through one cycle, and that will just start over again, doing the same thing. So this happens at 2 pi. And the period of the sine is 2 pi. There is one cycle that we're seeing in the whatever that is outside of the number. Now let's consider what happens when we look at the cosine. Remember, by definition, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And if we're thinking in our generalized terms of just looking at a, a point on the terminal side of the angle, this is my angle theta right then the adjacent side is whatever the x value is, and the hypotenuse is the is x squared plus y squared. And if we take our terminal point so that it's always on the unit circle, so this distance is always 1, then this simplifies just to be that, that particular x value. So now let's think about what the, what the graph of the cosine of theta looks like, where this is the theta axis and this is the cosine of theta axis. Okay, in, in that case, when theta squeezes down to zero, then the x value is going to be one. As this begins to open up, this x value gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's at zero when we're up at 90 degrees. If we're measuring in radians, that's going to be pi over 2 radians. As that continues to open into the, to the second quadrant, then notice that over here in the second quadrant, that x value is always negative. So it goes negative and negative and negative until finally it's getting over here. When it, when it reaches pi, 180 degrees, then that the x value, the cosine is whatever the x value of the, of the point on the unit circle is, is going to be a negative 1. And then as it grows bigger than that, then that x value starts moving closer and closer to 0, so it gets to 0, when, it, when the angle is put all the way around to here. Exactly. 
So this happens, that's pi, gets back to zero, three pi over two, and then it begins to, to, uh, to increase from there positively until it finally gets to two pi, and we're back to where we started, and that's one cycle. So once again, the period of the cosine is two pi, it gets to one cycle, uh, from zero to two pi. 